In this problem, we have a case wherein a financial institution has both asset and liability. There is not a match of the asset and liability. And uh, here we are finding that the interest rate is changing by a certain basis point. We need to find out what is the impact of this change in the interest rate on the bank's equity position. So let's see the problem. The problem says the financial institution has $1 billion of assets, duration of 14, and liability is $800 million having duration of 10. They are saying that the yield curve shifts upward by 50 basis point. Here, if nothing is mentioned, we'll assume that the yield curve shift is parallel. Okay, in FRM part one, you have to assume that it is a parallel shift of the yield curve if nothing is given. So you need to find out the equity position of the bank. Now here the duration is given. So we can find out what is the change? What is the percentage change in the asset value? and what is the percentage change in the liability value. From the percentage change in the asset value, we can compute the dollar change in the asset value and we can compute the dollar change in the liability value. The difference between that, this asset, change in the asset minus change in the liability will give us change in the equity in terms of dollar. Okay. Here, please note that the yield curve is shifting upward. So if you see that, let's say this is the current yield curve, it's upward sloping and yield curve is shifting parallelly by 50 basis points. So this is a 50 basis point change in the yield. So this is the new yield, uh, yield curve. So since the yield curve is increasing, you will find that the value of both asset as well as the liability would be decreasing because of the increase in the yield curve, right? So let's see what is the percentage change in the asset. The percentage change in the asset would be given as duration into change in the yield, let's say with the minus sign. So the duration is minus 14, change in the yield is 50 basis point or 0.5%, right? So what is the dollar change in the asset? Dollar change in the asset will be percentage change in the asset into the value of the asset which here is 1 billion. So we have this equation minus 14 into 0.5 percent into dollar 1 billion or 1000 million. So this is the change in the value of the asset. So if I compute it is 14 into 0 0.5 but this percentage so we can press this button percentage okay, into 1000 million. Right. So 70 million. So the asset is changing by dollar 70 million. So asset has decreased by dollar 70 million. Similarly, we can compute the percentage change in the liability or rather than that, we can directly compute the change in the liability, dollar change in the liability. Right. So we can say that the dollar change in the liability would be duration of the liability into the change in the yield into the value of the liability from this duration change in the yield into value. Duration of the liability is given as 10. Change in the yield is obviously same value 0.5% into value of the liability is 800 million. So we can compute this value. So from our calculator, what we can do is 10 into 0.5% into 800 million. So this is changing by 40 million, but please note that it's a negative sign. So the change in the liability is 40 million. So what we find over here is asset have decreased by 70 million and liabilities have decreased by 40 million. So here the bank is losing. The bank is losing because its asset value has fallen more than the liability. So the change or the loss, if you see the loss will be 30 million over here. So asset is changing by 70 million, liability is changing by 40 million. So the total loss for the bank would be 30 million. So the bank's equity would reduce by dollar 30 million. So this should be the answer of this problem. Please note that in real life, the banks, what they do is they conduct uh, this asset liability management. Their understanding is that when the interest rate is decreasing, they should, they, when the interest rate is increasing, it should not happen that they will suffer this kind of loss. Okay, so what they do is, they, in, whenever the interest rate is expected to increase, what they do is they decrease the duration of their asset and they increase the liability duration.
ओके एज अ रिजल्ट दे आर एबल टू अर्न देयर कि वेन एवर देयर एक्सपेक्टेशन इज दैट इंटरेस्ट रेट वुड डिक्रीज दे वुड इंक्रीज द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ देयर एसेट एंड डिक्रीज द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ देयर लाइबिलिटी दैट इज आइडियली दे शुड बी डूइंग ओके